Looks like my hunt is going to just be dimes tonight. So I have a bunch of dimes here and a bunch of dimes that I basically got a few days ago that I'm going to go through tomorrow. But I'm going to go through this batch and I'm going to go through these four rolls here because one, I didn't notice this until I got home. I think we got a silver edge right there. It's looking really grimy. It's standing out from all the other ones. And there's a really small coin in this one. Let's see if I could get that to focus in there. It's right in there. And I'm pretty sure there's also a five pence in here. So I'm doing this one first. Let's see what this dime is. Could possibly be. Well, it's kind of looking silvery. What's it gonna be? Oh, 1965. Nice. Sweet. Looks like we got silver to boot. I'm just gonna throw these off to the side here. I'll do that after. We got a couple Americans in here. There's a bent one. And I think once some of these rolls might be shorted. I've been having issues with that the last couple days. One of my uh, branch managers said if I have an issue with that again, to let him know and he'll reimburse me. It's been happening quite a bit. Normally I try not to make a big deal about it, but if people are going to be doing that, it's kind of a little sad. It's like... There's no real reason to do that. What are you gaining from it? 30 cents? And it looks like I was right. We got ourselves five pence from the UK again. So that's quite common. So another US. Let's see if we can get that out. Nothing much in that one. And I'm really interested to see what that one small coin is there. What could it be? Oh, okay. I've gotten one of these before. Trinidad and Tobago. Huh, that's pretty cool. Ten cents. I found these before. I'm pretty sure this is my third or fourth one that I found, but yeah, pretty sweet. I'm going to start going through the rest of these dimes, and if I happen to find something, I'll call you guys back in. I'm seeing something silvery. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, we got a mackerel. Ah, Steve's going to be like, holy mackerel, holy mackerel. Because <laughs> that's what he always says. He's going to be like, Ah, holy mackerel. And I'm going to be like, oh yeah. I'm getting close to 500 now that I think about it. 500 silver dimes. 500 silver dimes. I'm already at 100 silver quarters as of yesterday, which is pretty sweet. So, I got quite a bit more rolls to go through, but yeah. We got a 1967 mackerel dime. Really nice. And I'm dropping it. And unfortunately, it don't really matter if I drop it because it's went through a grinder. Ah! So I'm on to the final three rolls, which are being the heaviest ones. And they both, all three of them weigh close to 100 grams. And I'm a little curious to see what's inside. I think this one might have a bunch of American, or it could get up changed. I don't know. So, let's see what's inside. Uh, is that a silver dime? Oh, it is. Oh, it's Georgie. Huh. We got another Georgie. Let's see if we can get that to focus on it. And it's got some interesting toning. Actually, I'm going to focus that in. 
more closer. Sweet. It's from 1950. I thought that was American for a moment because that's all I was seeing. That edge was a lot darker than normal. I don't think I see anything else in here by the looks of it, but sweet. We got a Georgie on the board. So I'm going to go through these rolls. Actually, not these rolls. I'll call you guys in on each individual one of them, but I'm going to go through this one, make sure the right amount's in here, and see if I happen to find anything else. Now let's get on to the next one. Hopefully I can get some more silver that would be really cool for a bunch but those three silver dimes that is awesome awesome seeing stuff like that but this is a whole roll of nickel oh my hopefully maybe there's something hiding in here but i highly doubt it like there's a nickel 68 Yeah, just more likely modern stuff in here, so I'll go through this one, and I'll call you guys for the last roll. Final roll of the night. Either or, if I get something in this one, I don't care, but still, this was a really awesome hunt. $1.90 in American dimes, three silver dimes, and two foreigns. So, let's see what's in the final roll, and I'll give you guys the wrap-up. I was going to assume that this is what it was going to be. I had a funny feeling that it was just going to be a bunch of nickel dimes. But it doesn't hurt to check. Yeah, it's only just a bunch of nickel and modern ones. So, I'll go through this final roll. If I happen to find something particularly odd. I'll call you guys back in. If not, I'll give you guys the wrap up. So, the good part is, I didn't get down changed. I got up changed in some rolls, down changed in others. So, it basically evens out. I didn't lose anything in this hunt. So, that is pretty awesome. For American Dimes, I didn't find that much. Only about $1.90. Most of them came from that final roll, which is kind of ironically funny given the situation that I'm in. I'm really close to the border, and you'd think that you'd find a bunch of American dimes, but you don't. This was from 46 rolls, which is very close to a banker box, but still. I found a 2006 10 cents from Trinidad and Tobago, which is very cool. Be seeing one of these. We also got five pence from the UK. You guys seen this a thousand times. I'm the king of finding five pences. It's kind of ironic when I found a, even a five new pence. A 1950 silver dime. That's going to be 80% silver, which is awesome. This 1965 silver dime that I found in that see-through roll, which is awesome. And a really heavily scratched up 1967 mackerel dime. Rather unfortunate, but a silver silver, and that's 50%. And it looks like I'm dropping it quite a bit, so... I would say this was a pretty awesome hunt. Three, three dimes from basically close to a banker box plus two foreign and no loss and change other than the quarters day, which was a bummer. But other than that, I would say this was a pretty good hunt. I've had some pretty good quarter hunts the last couple days. Found a 64 that I previously posted yesterday. And then I found a 63 that threw me off guard because I thought it was a modern quarter because the edge was really polished. So, like, sub, subscribe to my channel. It really goes a long way for doing my 500 sub giveaway for all my viewers out there. But before I go, I will show off the one coin that I will be giving away. So here are the coins that 
well, the one coin, the newest one that you're going to be receiving if you're from Canada or America, will be in this Bill Reed 2020 colorized loony. Really nice coin. Uncirculated. Hand picked by me, truly. And also here is the one before that that will also be into that pile as well so those are the two coins out of the six so far there will be another four that will be thrown into the pile but before i go this will be the update for tomorrow's hunt a bunch more of dimes to go through and hopefully maybe we'll find something maybe i'll go live i don't know my computer can handle it it is a high definition Basically, computer can handle up to 60 frames per second, so pretty awesome. But you know the moral of the story, guys. Stay tuned for more videos down the road, and happy hunting.